Hi, Simon Page here, simonpage.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about plugins. There are a certain set of plugins that you're going to need to install pretty much anytime you install a new WordPress site. And I'm gonna go through what those uh, categories are and give my best recommendations for each one of those. Now, first and foremost, the first thing that we want to get installed is a security plugin. Uh, something that is going to uh, prevent spam, prevent um, malicious software from creating user accounts and adding comments and things like that. So what we want to do is we're going to add a new plugin and I recommend a plugin called Shield. Now there are a lot of them if you want to explore what's available. Um, as I explained in a previous video you can come into uh, your plugins, add plugin and just put in a keyword and I'm going to put in Shield and because they're competitors, a lot of the other ones will show up. And so you see all of these different uh, Defender type of um, plugins are available. Shield Security for WordPress with this green logo is the one that I recommend. If you want to try something different, there are a couple of things that I recommend that you look for. First of all, I recommend that you never install a plugin that says untested with your version of WordPress. And then you want to look at how many active installations there are. So this one has about 100, and it has three five-star recommendations, whereas Shield has compatible with your version of WordPress, has 80,000 active installations, has a five-star rating even after 848 people have left a rating. This is really good. You know, if, if it had 848 and a three and a half star, I might consider, you know, maybe that's not one that I want to try. But if you're looking for something different, um, this is honestly a real good number as you're skimming through here. Just look 17, 41, 23, 0, 1. I wouldn't try any of these, honestly. I look for things that have at least four or 500 comments on them. Uh, because those are the ones that are going to be most common. I might look at this one right here, 40,000 installations, 122 installs. Um, but I'm looking for things that have high numbers in active installations and reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and install Shield Security. We just click Install. This is now downloading the software onto my local machine. And then once it's finished installing, this button will change to Activate. Now I'm not going to activate because I want to install several plugins at the same time. So the next plugin that we're going to talk about is uh, image optimization. Uh, you always want to have some sort of plugin that will resize the images that you upload to optimize your images for uh, speed because you don't want to have a gigantic image that you're only showing like a one inch square. Like if this green image right here was actually something that was full the full size of this screen uh, you'd be, take a serious hit on your load time for it so an image compression plugin will help a lot I recommend and it's the first one smush smush has 4200 ratings and five stars with over a million installs smush will do you good so I'm going to install that Next, we want something to do SEO. And I always install Yoast. Uh, Yoast has 5 million installs, 25,000 reviews, and 5 stars. Yoast is a simple to use SEO plugin that will help you optimize your plugins, your, or optimize your posts, your pages, pretty much everything. So we'll go ahead and install that. We're going to install Google Analytics. And there are several that say Google Analytics. You're going to see a lot of them, like especially this one, like Monster Insights. Um, some of these are freemium. The Google, Ana Google Analytics dashboard from Exact Metrics, um, I've never had any problems with. I highly recommend it. And look, untested with your version of WordPress. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install it because I know that they come out with updates very regularly. So I'm going to go against what I said just a few minutes ago. Uh, but feel free to look through any of these on this on uh, when you look up analytics. 
and uh, choose the one that, that appeals to you. Um, one more thing, since I just said that, there's a link under the Install Now button on every one of these that says More Details that will pop open a window without losing your place and tell you more about it. So, so once we have our analytics installed, the next thing that we want to be able to do is back up our website. And I use Backup Buddy. Um, and where is Backup Buddy? Um, it does not look. Client Dash for Backup Buddy is a dashboard. does not look like Backup Buddy is still available. So I'm going to show you exactly what I would do. I'm going to look for backups. And then I'm going to say, what, are we, what have we got as far as ratings? 2,900 with 2 million reviews. That's good, but I also know that Updraft Plus requires you to pay or you don't get a lot of the good, um, a lot of the good features that I like to have. Uh, let's see. Two hundred thousand activations. Um, you know what? Since I know that it is good, um, even though I'm not going to probably stay with it, just for the sake of continuing on, I'm going to go ahead and install Updraft Plus. Let's look at Back WP Up. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and look for Pro. See, here's the Pro version with more features. Um, usually the description here will tell you if there is a pro version. I don't like to pay for plugins if I can get it for free. Um, that's Jetpack Plus. Jetpack has a lot to offer. Um, if you have a Jetpack account, I would go ahead and use it here in your, um, in your WordPress. Then we're going to need a, a builder. Um, I'm not going to install one because I'll install one because I'm using Thrive. Um, but if you um, have, um, if you're not using Thrive, you're going to want to install uh, Elementor uh, or Divi or Beaver Builder. Um, I recommend all three of those. All of them are good. Um, it's really up to you. And if you want to see what it looks like, you can come into the more detail, go to screenshots, and it'll show you what building a page with it looks like. So, uh, again, I'm not going to install one because I already have Thrive Architect on here as my page builder. Uh, the next thing that we want to talk about is your cache. I highly recommend that you go with WP Fastest Cache unless you have a premium cache available to you. Um, Fastest Cache is really simple to set up, has really good ratings and reviews and nearly a million installs. And then another one, uh, if we're going to be doing lead generation, and since this and since this is a sales funnel uh, tutorial, we will definitely be doing lead generation. Um, you can either use Thrive Leads if you've gone the Thrive route, or uh, Optin Monster is one that has really good reviews. I've seen a lot of great, um, great reviews and great articles about Optin Monster. And uh, it's this <laughs> monster eating an email envelope. That's your uh, the icon that you're looking for. Um, so use Optin Monster if you're not using Thrive Leads. I highly recommend Thrive Leads though. And then lastly, uh, we're going to look at social sharing. And again, Thrive Themes has social sharing built in, but I have found that social warfare. WordPress social sharing plugin by Social War Warf War Social Warfare just gives you so many different options as far as where you want them, how you want them to look, and things like that. So I, I'm going to highly recommend this. Let's take a look if it actually shows you. No, I'll show you when we get inside there. Then, now we have all of the plugins installed that I recommend. So now that those are all installed, we're going to go back to our installed plugins. We're going to 
select inactive plugins and activate all plugins. And this way we don't have to wait for each plugin to install. This will just take care of it. Now, obviously, it's going to want to start you through the process of It's going to want to start you through the process of configuring all of the ones that you just installed. And I actually missed a step I want to share with you. I don't use Akismet Anti-Spam. Uh, it comes built in to WordPress, um, but I don't, I don't like having to have external accounts for things. Um, you can choose to use it if you want. If you do, you probably don't need Shield as much. Um, but Akismet Anti-Spam and Hello Dolly both come with WordPress but deactivated and I just accidentally activated them. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate them both. Because as you see it's already trying to get me to set up my account. And then I'm going to actually delete them both because I like to keep my plugins list clean. So there you go. Both successfully deleted. And there we are. There is our our basic WordPress blogging sales funnel um, plugin essentials collection. And they're all installed. Uh, a couple of them will need to be set up before we actually start using them. Uh, I'm going to walk you through those in a coming video. Uh, so this at this point, though, your all of your plugins are installed. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you're get, getting a lot from this series. And as always, my name is Simon Page with SimonPage.com, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks.